Hello, my name is Matthew Garcia, and welcome back to Case Art. Today we are going to be talking about loops. So what are loops? A loop is a sequence of instructions that is continually repeated until a certain condition is reached. This is useful in Java when you want to repeat a certain task a certain number of times, or indefinitely, without having to repeat the same code over and over again. Today we are going to be focusing on two types of loops, for loops and while loops. A for loop allows code to be executed a certain number of times, and this number of times must be known before entering the loop. While loops allow code to be executed repeatedly until a certain condition is met. A real life example of a for loop, for example, let's say that each time Bob completes a math problem, he gets a cookie, but he can only earn up to five cookies. It is very important in for loops to know what the highest limit is, because Bob cannot do an infinite amount of math problems and get an infinite amount of cookies. This is very important when it comes to actual coding, as we will see later on in the lesson. A real life example of a while loop, for example, let's say while Bob still has math problems to do, he can't eat any cookies. However, if Bob finishes all the math problems, he can't eat a cookie. When looking at while loops, it is important to remember what we learned in lesson four, conditional statements. While loops always contain a conditional statement. While a certain condition is present, then a certain action is taken. In this case, the condition is that Bob still has math problems to do, and the action that's taken is that he can't eat any cookies. However, if a second condition is met, in this example, if Bob finishes all of the math problems, then another action is taken. In this example, Bob can eat a cookie. Now we are going to examine the use of for loops in Java. For loops typically follow this format here. It says for, and then in parentheses here, integer x, which can be any variable, that's an integer, equal to any number that you wish, while this variable x is less than a certain integer, and then x++ plus plus here at the end means that each time it runs the code located inside the for loop, it will add 1 to x until it reaches this integer here. Let's take a look at the example we were using before with Bob and the cookies. The first thing that we have to do is to find the variable cookies as an integer and we set the value to 0. Next thing we have to do is we have to set up the for loop. The first thing that we have to do in the argument of the for loop is state which variable we are going to be using. So the variable we are using is cookies and is equal to 0. The next thing that we have to do in the argument of the for loop is state how many times we want the for loop to run. This condition here, which says cookies is less than 5, means that the for loop will run until this condition is no longer met. The next part, which is cookies followed by two plus signs, means that the integer cookies will increase by one each time the code is run. This means that the first time we run the code, cookies will be equal to zero, and it will print out Bob ate a cookie. But this will continue to run because cookies is still less than five. But the next time it runs, cookies is now equal to 1 because of this here. So it will run again and again until cookies is equal to 5. Next, we are going to examine the use of while loops in Java. The argument of a while loop is always a conditional statement. A program that records the number of seats in a movie theater is an excellent example of a while loop. First, we would have to create a variable, which I named seats and set that equal to the number of seats in the movie theater. Next, we set the argument of the while loop to seats is greater than zero. This means while the number of seats is greater than zero, meaning while there are still seats in the movie theater, it will ask the user of the program, do you want to purchase a seat? Similar to the previous example in for loops, where the variable named cookies followed by two plus signs is used to increase the variable until the for loop ends, while loops must also contain something that causes the loop to break. If the loop is not broken, the program will continue forever, eventually causing it to crash. In this example, there would have to be something in the code which causes the integer seeds to decrease each time the code is run, eventually causing seeds to be equal to zero and causing the while loop to end. So what concepts do we cover today? Well, first we went over the definition of loops. Next, we went over the difference between for loops and while loops and what their purposes are. Next, we went over the use of conditional statements in loops. 
and how they are coded in Java. Thank you for watching.